What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I made a quick video to show you how to create an Upwork proposal using Jarvis AI. Jarvis AI is a tool, an AI tool obviously, that helps write for you. So I use this tool for so many different things and today I'm gonna show you specifically how to create freelancing job proposals with it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so speaking of tools and utilizing tools to help your process and help you get more clients, more responses to your proposals. I'm going to show you a tool that I use for pretty much every part of my process. And this is Jarvis AI. If you're not familiar with it already, I have the boss mode plan and I use several of these different templates that were seeing here on my screen to craft pretty much every part of my freelancing process. But I wanted to give you an example because I had quite a few questions about how I utilize and use different Jarvis templates to craft an Upwork proposal. So I personally, now that I've been freelancing a while, have certain proposals that I know work. They're proven to work. I use them as a template. I personalize the templates, obviously, with every proposal that I submit on Upwork or to any client. But if I were from the beginning starting trying to figure out how to create a proposal and wanted to use Jarvis AI, I'll show you some of the tools that can be used and that I used at the beginning. Now, if you don't want to figure this out, obviously, you can use my templates. But this is Jarvis, and I'm going to show you the process I would kind of do and some of the tools that I would use. So as you can see, if you're not familiar with Jarvis, again, Jarvis has all of these templates inside that you can use to pretty much create any type of written content that you could think of. So one thing that I would definitely recommend using in here is a personalized cold email template. So this is a great place to start. Now I'm going to show you some tools, again, some templates in Jarvis that'll help you create your proposal, but I've used, and I still use several templates together. And I kind of pick and pull from different templates to put one piece of content together if that makes sense. So where I would start if I wanted to create a new proposal is here in the personalized cold emails. And in this section here that says, tell us about your product, um, you can put something along the lines of what you'd put in a proposal for Upwork. So um, we're just gonna use examples here. All right, so context to include. You can put something along the lines of, I saw kind of voice you could do business professional. I mean, honestly, you can use anything that you want to here. Um, I would use persuasive and friendly and then let's see what this produces so i'm only going to show a little bit of this but this should give you enough ideas to kind of roll with okay so this is like honestly a really good place to start i would use honestly probably any of these again like you're going to pick pieces from each of these. Let's just use this one for the heck of it. And I would add something along the lines of, and we can put this actually in here. So like what you can do is kind of add to it depending on, obviously like your proposal is going to be catered to you. And you would obviously want to put like a first name here if you have it. That was one of the tips. So hopefully you do. If not, you don't have to put anything here. Um, but you can even add to it here. So let's say like you wanted to add something along the lines of like my... And 
And then obviously you would want to include samples of your work. So like you would put a link here, a link here, if you have samples of your work, but you can take this too and then paste it into this other tool that I really, really like. So the content improver, you could paste that in here. Again, content improver is only gonna take 600 characters, but let's just say we put this in and you can use this tool to kind of just like liven up your proposal. And then you can even change the tone of voice to kind of match that last one, or you can change it to something completely different. Um, I don't, honestly, let's do this again to see if it comes up with anything else. So what I would use this for is not necessarily like creating and taking this whole proposal and submitting it. I actually like the proposal that the cold email template used um, or produced. So I would use this for the most part. And then in the content improver outputs, I would copy any of like bits and parts that you like in these outputs. So say, um, so say you liked how this kind of worded that part of your proposal, you could copy this and paste it instead of where it says here, you know, in this part of your proposal, you can use a content improver to, honestly, if you just have like one sentence, so like say, this is technically three, but say we just wanted to like kind of improve and reword that last part of the proposal, we could just put that part in here. You don't have to put the whole thing in here. You could do it sentence by sentence and see what it produces. So. This one's good. So those are a couple of the tools that I would start with to use to create an Upwork proposal with Jarvis. So another one that you could try to use and kind of pick pieces out of are, is this AIDA framework. Um, I just put this in here and wanted to see what it would come up with. So let's go ahead. Okay, so this is another great example. Um, the attention part of this, I wouldn't use, like, honestly, that top part there, like, I would not use in a proposal. I would use more of, like, the interest and desire parts of these um, rather than the attention and, like, necessarily action. I mean, you could put, as the action, you could put something along the lines of, like, re like feel free to reach out to me uh, if you have any questions or, you know, look forward to working together, something along those lines. Um, this action is pretty good here. Uh, this let's chat about how we can work together today. So again, another tool that you can use to help craft your proposals, your client reach out. Those are just a few. Honestly, you can use so many of these Jarvis templates to help with reach out, getting clients, and honestly, every single part of your process. I know that I sure do. All right, there you have it. That is how I use Jarvis AI to create Upwork proposals. So if you are struggling with creating Upwork proposals, you're not sure what to say, or maybe you're just interested in the Jarvis AI tool, hopefully that was helpful. If you want to sign up for Jarvis, you can get 10,000 free words with the link that I have below. I do get a very small commission, but it helps me to create more videos like this for you all. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you will see even more tips in the future. Bye guys.